Welcome back to another episode with Crypto Father's Craziness. Um, today we've decided to go on a little trip to a city called Gijang, which is just outside of Ulsan. Uh, and it's on the coast near to the larger portal city, Busan, where we made the um, fish market video last weekend. So today we're gonna go down to a coffee shop, I guess. Koreans love their coffee and there are coffee shops everywhere. Uh, but this coffee shop shop is a little bit different apparently. Um, it's uh, it's got a nice view. It's large. Um, I don't know. My wife keeps raving on about it. So so do her friends. So we're gonna go and uh, have a look at it and see what it's like and uh, show you around. We're probably gonna have some breakfast too because we're hungry. So stay tuned. We arrived at a coffee shop. I don't know if it's the coffee shop we were seeking, but uh, here it is nonetheless. Koreans love their coffee shops. They're everywhere. This particular one is located right near the ocean. It's a big building um, with a view, I guess. And what's uh, unique about this one is that it is located by the sea, by the ocean, uh, which is unusual, I guess. We did a coffee shop before just to get in. It's like a museum. It's not even a coffee shop. I'm not sure what the deal is, but there's people lining up. Well, not lining up. There is literally six with us including. <laughs> but I guess maybe they're, the coffee shop is trying to create a, a vibe, you know? Uh, when people have to wait for stuff, they, they become a little bit more interested. So maybe that's what they're trying to do. Saturday, Sunday, you come here, you have to line up at least an hour. You have to wait an hour to get into a coffee yeah. shop on the weekend. You have to first order and then you can end. Well, I'm glad it's not the weekend today, I guess. That's why we came. So I heard that this coffee shop is nice, it's got a nice view, but the coffee is absolutely shite. So mm -hmm. I had coffee this morning, um, but I guess we we'll, might might have to order another one just to just to see see how what the coffee tastes like. Mm -hmm. I see some cakes and stuff out in the window. Okay. Um, those look delicious, but uh, we'll see what they actually taste like. Oh, what are we getting? Do you want to get a tiramisu? Yeah. Yeah? Let's get a tiramisu. Tiramisu. So we made it in. We ordered uh, some cake and some coffee, and we're out on the patio, which is Ooh, quite cute. nice. It's nice and, and sunny. Um, so I could see the attraction, yeah. I guess. Okay. So how much does this view cost? Oh my goodness, it's too expensive. We get our cake and uh, <laughs> coffee in a paper cup. What's the priceage? Mm. Coffee is six dollars, and the tiramisu is seven. That's the price of a nice view in South Korea. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Dig into this cake. Let me tell me what it's like. Uh -huh. uh, should I have try first? Yes, go ahead. 
So this is definitely proper tiramisu, it's good. Um, there's a lot of different varieties of tiramisu, um, but this is the one that uses, I think, um, at the Kalua or whatever they use at the bottom. I'm not sure of the recipe. It's good, $7, <laughs> better be worth it. Oh, you can't. What is it, it's a different place? Oh, this is a different coffee shop. This is different. Oh, it's a different one. Ah, really? It's good. It's good. Right? Yeah. Come on, just plant a bit in your part of the land and they put in. For all the talk of nice view, here's the kicker. If you look right there, that is the nuclear power plant. So you do have a very nice view and you're located right next to the nuclear power plant that's been experiencing some problems in the past, over the past few years. Uh, I think uh, portions of it were shut down. There were demonstrations and protests in the nearby villages um, arising from concerns that uh, that the, the nuclear power plant is not being no, not as safe as it was. I think uh, one of the, the chimneys was shut down due to some cracks. Um, and the, the story was that when the uh, power plant was being built, <clears throat> some of the constructors, um, you know, cheaped out. They took the money and, and purchased parts that were <laughs> manufactured in China, I guess, by some questionable companies. and did not adhere to the safety standards, required safety standards, uh, and later on caused problems. Um, that's the same power plant we're looking at right there. It's still standing, it's still there, but it's right next door to this beautiful place. So I guess that's the price you pay for living in a small country. Uh, Korea is relatively tiny compared to most bigger countries. Um, it has a population of 47, 48 million people and uh, a land mass of about 130,000 square kilometers. Um, Canada has about a million square kilometers I believe and only a fraction of that population. Canadian population is stands about 37 million people. Korean is about 50 so do the math population density huge issue so living next to power plants uh, it's not uncommon Thailand is our most favorite test test place to visit uh, whenever we have a chance to go on vacation that's where we go Thailand uh, and because we've become so comfortable with Koh Phangan we hardly ever go anywhere else I think before we had children where did we go we went to no in Thailand I mean we went to Krabi Koh Phi Phi Krabi which was fantastic Chiang Mai we visited once in the north uh, and for the most part that's it though those are the only places we visited and then for the most part whenever we go we go to Koh Phangan it's almost like a third home for me, second one for you, I guess. Yes, I like it. We're I very comfortable. It. So our plan is to, yeah, we're, our plan is to move. <laughs> we want to make the move to Koh Phangan and open a coffee shop similar to this, but with warmer weather. It's nice. What do you think? We should uh, learn some coffee making skills, some barista, get a barista license, open a coffee shop. I can already, I can make it. See, there you go. That's an official invitation. <laughs> We're opening up a coffee shop. Not sure when, but when it happens, we'll let you know. You'll be the first ones to know. Hello? Hello, Mr. J. How do you like it? It's good, it's proper tiramisu. <laughs> That's it? Ooh! Nice, but... Can you make just for me kind of house? 
Yeah, as soon as we get yeah. 2 million subscribers on YouTube, um, you know, uh, I'll build a house for you like that. <laughs> That's the end of our adventure. We're out of here. Um, I didn't try the coffee, actually. Some coffee. Tastes like coffee. So it's nice. It's a pretty good setup. I bet it cost an arm and a leg to to secure this property and have it set up the way it is. Um, but that's. Uh, that's another story. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, for more, click the bell button to get updates on uh, new upcoming videos. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. Crypto Father out.